Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Xena the Glamper Camper and today we are going to be unboxing and hopefully installing this little security camera we just got at Sam's Club. Now this thing has no wires, it is all solar paneled. It is the Rio Link wire-free security camera. So let's get this thing unboxed. Okie dokie. So right off the bat, it was actually a pretty easy setup. You just had to download the amps, the app, scan the QR code, go through all the prompts, blah, 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 blah. The only thing that I will mention is it beeps like a smoke detector, similar, like really loud, obnoxious. Xena hates that noise, so now she is like utterly terrified. She will um, get over it after a while, but just so you know, if you do have pets or anything with sensitive ears, it makes like a crazy obnoxious beep when you're setting it up. But now the next step is just to fully charge the camera. This, I won't go through this step by step with you guys because it talks you through everything when you download the app, scan all the codes and stuff. So yeah, now we're just going to charge the camera and it actually has multiple different ways of mounting. You can mount to the wall. You can also mount to a ceiling and you can also use these to mount it. So right now I'm going to plug this in and then we're going to go outside and decide how I want to mount this thing. Okie dokie. So me and Xena just got the bracket installed and as you guys can see we just have it here right on the corner of the roof. Now keep in mind the distance between where my finger is right here this top ledge and where the screws need to go there's almost no space there. So at first I was trying to use an electric um screwdriver but that is not really doable for such a small area even our little hand screwdriver did have some issues with clearance but we eventually did get them in there now what i did was i drilled a hole in the stucco using this drill bit and of course xena is helping me so we used this bit to drill the hole and then we ended up using their um oh i don't even know what they're called off the top of my head the little white things so I pushed those into the holes that I drilled with this, and then we just screwed in the screws. So now we've got the camera here, and it just supposedly screws in the top like that. There is very little um, holding the camera to the mount, so slightly concerning, but obviously I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, so we've got that on. So now, that's pretty cool. I feel like that did not take very long at all, but I'm glad me and Xena have got this up there. So now we just have to mount the solar panel. Are you ready, Xena? Okie dokie. So before we get into that, um, I did just want to say really, really fast. Honestly, I feel like it just does not feel super secure. Like the mounting just does not seem very high quality. Now let me show you guys. This is actually the camera that we're replacing in this corner. This was an Arlo camera and it was just mounted with one screw and a magnet. And I don't know, I think I like this mounting situation a lot better. It wasn't even like super secure, but for some reason it just felt better than that. So I ended up switching out one of the screws it came with for a much longer screw. And then just remember before you screw on the camera to screw on your antenna, because if you have the camera already screwed on, you'll have to take it back off again to put the antenna up. But this is the little bracket. Another strange thing, this is the bracket for the solar panel, is there's this piece right here that says back, and it was very obvious that you were supposed to screw it on right here with the small screws that are included. But I don't know if I'm like crazy, but these are the instructions it gives, and they don't say anything about that little piece. So, I don't know. I just thought I probably should do it. So now, me and Xena are just going to um, mount this up there, and we'll see how that goes. I don't know. This piece feels sturdy, but again, the screws that they give you 
are just kind of like chintzy feeling. Okie dokie. So the solar panel um, actually gave me a little bit more struggles than the actual mount for the camera. For some reason, this side of the stucco was a lot harder to go through. I ended up using a little nail and then I could just screw it in. Now, the mount for this seems a lot, lot, lot tighter than the mount for the camera. I'm not sure why, but the solar panel is a lot more sturdy. As you can see, I just took the extra cord and I just wrapped it a whole bunch around the solar panel. And then right there, you can see where it plugs into the camera and there's a little weatherproof um, circular piece that you just kind of shove all the way in there. Now, one thing you've got to be careful about is if you're like us and the camera doesn't feel like super, super steady or whatever, if you push it really hard, you could like possibly move the antenna or yeah. So you just want to be really careful when you're doing that. So I had one hand on one side while I was using my other hand to plug in the cord. But yeah, overall, Zena says it wasn't a terrible installation. It took us, I don't know, maybe a little bit over an hour. So now we'll just kind of um, go inside and I'll do a screen recording so you guys can see kind of what the camera looks like and um, how you can move the camera around with your phone. I think that would be pretty cool. Okie dokie, you guys. Let me just um, show you what we could do on our little screen recording here. This camera, I really wanted to come in here and say, you guys know if you already have Arlo cameras, if you already have another camera, I wouldn't necessarily switch it out just for these. And again, this is the Rio Link Argus PT Plus Rio Link solar panel with wire free security camera, remote directional control 2K. I don't actually know, there's like a whole bunch of words on the box. But you guys, this is kind of like the interface in the app. You can move the camera all sorts of different directions. You can talk through the camera. You can record. You can take pictures. Me and Zena really, really like how you can move the camera around. Now, from my experience, just in this little like five minutes, it is a little bit delayed. So as you're using the pointer to um, move your camera around, you definitely just want to like chill for a second and um, let it catch up every once in a while. But you can look all around pretty much everywhere. You can't spin like in a circle 360 degrees, but you can go like one direction and then all the way back around the other direction. So really, I'm kind of torn because I think the mounting situation is a little bit cheap. I'm not really into the mounting of the actual camera itself. I think that they've got some work to do there. I don't know, maybe it was me as the installer, but I just feel like, I just feel like it's not very secure and like it was just, um, they could have done some things a lot differently with that. But the solar panel mounting, I really, really liked. I'm glad they give you tons of cords. Like I showed earlier, we just had them wrapped up. And again, I'm really glad that we got this camera. Overall, I think that it's a great deal. I love that you can look all over the place. It is motion sensored, so we're gonna set that up later. But yeah, that was um, me and Zena installing this thing, unboxing it, and showing you guys what it was all about. So thank you very much for watching. We got this at Sam's Club. I can't remember what we paid for it. I th think it was around $100, either a little bit under or a little bit over. I can't quite remember. But yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you never miss the next time this little queen uploads a new video or installs a new item. Get out and enjoy what God has given us and get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one. Bye. Zena, say bye. Say thanks for watching our video. Say thank you. Say thank you for watching.